In 2018, John Powell scored a movie called Solo A Star Wars Story that affected his style going forward. Solo, ironically, was not a solo job. The main solo theme was written by John Williams. And while collaborating on the score, Powell had the unique opportunity to learn from John Williams firsthand. Something he compared to getting a master's degree. Because while he was already a great, innovative composer, working with John Williams, he saw he still had much to learn. In 2019, he scored How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World, with a different sound from its predecessors. You can hear a change in the orchestra. It's maybe even a little more refined. There's a new love theme that's more rhythmically complex. The exotic sounds are still there, but the orchestra is more dominant and has more of the solos. He'd improved his use of counterpoint, playing multiple melodies at the same time. And with a smaller brass section, he did more with less. Even though this is the climax of the trilogy, on a huge scale for an animated movie, the orchestra is smaller, at least for the brass section, which has shrunken from movies 1 to 3. Twelve horns became six. Four tenor and two bass trombones became three tenors with one bass. What's the same is the tuba and the four trumpets. In the hidden world, it seems the trumpets play more than ever. They add a sense of power and fanfare to the action. In the first, all four trumpets would play together, or they would split two and two. The second movie had a few solos, but the grouping stayed the same. In The Hidden World, Powell used brass triplets, which were already a core part of the rhythm and melody for previous scores. But here, he brought it up to another level. with a change. While the first three trumpets play together in triplets, one note for each trumpet, the fourth is separate, playing the melody with the horns an octave lower, which helps the horns in filling out the sound of the melody. Three trumpets provide power while the fourth supports the melody or provides counterpoint while the other three rest. You can hear this in the track Exodus. When the Furies and Love theme appears, strings play the melody while three trumpets play triads and triplets, filling gaps in the melody. When the horns pick up the melody, trumpet four does the same, while the first three emphasize the last few notes an octave higher. All four trumpets only play together for emphasis. exactly the same as the trumpets in solo. But this trick goes back way before solo. Williams has been using it since at least the first Star Wars. If you skip ahead to the reprises of Test Drive, Powell has reverted to his old orchestration, Trumpets Together. Probably because that's how this theme was written to be played. But as soon as this new theme with a new style appears, it's back to this new format. Three together, the fourth alone an octave lower before joining up again. But you don't have to listen that far to hear this new orchestration. It's there from the opening cue. And the return to Burke shows off this new technique as a new way of presenting an old theme. Burke has changed between movies. The entire village is packed and recolored. It should sound different, and it's a dramatic reveal. All six horns play the theme very loud, so it's not that they need Trumpet 4 to be heard. It's the Williams orchestration that fills out the horn melody. Before passing the theme to Trumpets 1 to 3. 
It's a small thing to give the horns something extra. John Powell continues to evolve his sound, and this is a technique he's already applied to other scores. To see the more reflective side of this score, you need to see this video, made from a very accurate fan transcription. Thanks for watching. Moon Man!